This is Twit. The other thing I wanted to mention briefly is a seating distance to screen for, for watching, for viewing. Uh, and there are a couple of recommendations that I want to show from THX. Uh, one is called seating distance. And uh, that is basically kind of a table with a bunch of numbers in it. But it uh, it sort of tells us that you know you have a certain a certain recommendation for seating distance and here depending and that depends on the TV screen size. So That's tell right. us a little bit about what we're looking at here. Right. So the the principle that happens here is that whether that TV screen is 50 inches or 80 inches, uh, whether it's UHD or HD, you still have the same fundamental. Uh, physical relationship going on, the optical relationship going on, that you have the same number of pixels on the screen, whether it's 50 or 80. Now, obviously, UHD has more pixels than HD, but you know, within a class, you have the same number of pixels regardless of screen size. So what happens as the screen gets larger is the pixels get larger. Uh, if you don't, if you doubt this, go to the go to the cinema sometime. Walk all the way up to the screen, and hopefully no one will throw anything at you. And you'll <laughs> notice that, the, <laughs> and you'll notice that the pixels might get as big as your fist, right? Because there's still, you know, only 4K of them. Only, you know, there, there's at, only at so best. many pixels. <laughs> right, right. And, and it's fun to say only 4K of them. Yeah, right. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> but on a 50 foot wide screen. Right, they get kind of Those large. pixels can be pretty big. Of course, you don't see them at your normal seating distance. I suppose you right. might if you're in the front row, which I never sit in, but I suppose right. some people do. And so that's that's what you're going on, is that you can imagine each pixel uh, has a certain angular view when it hits your eyeball. Uh, this is you know high school trigonometry. If you draw that pixel out on the screen and you draw a triangle from one corner of the pixel to your eye to the other corner of the pixel to your eye, uh, you end up with a small angle uh, between mm -hmm. those two pixels. And that's called the subtended angle. And there's an angle called the critical angle or resolving angle of your eye and of, of any optical system for that matter, including telescopes. And that's one of the reasons why they put Hubble out in space and, and other uh, sort of things is that resolving angle says how finely, how how small an angle can we actually accurately discriminate? And there's a lot of calculations and stuff. You can do that math, but that's where that, that viewing distance comes from. Basically, you want to be far enough back from the screen of your particular size so that those pixels merge together and that that angular distance falls below the resolving power or the critical angle of your eye. And those are, you know, they're approximations. I mean, like everything else, it should be adjusted to taste and what works in your room and so on. Uh, but that also tells you if you have a small room, there's no point in putting an 80 inch TV in there. Save your money for a better sound system. Mm -hmm. uh, we have another picture called viewing angle that I wanted to show people, which uh, expresses a similar thing, uh, but in a graphic form. <clears throat> and so I believe this is a THX recommendation as well, that from your couch, you want the viewing angle from the sides uh, to the sides of the screen. I think this is for HD, not UHD, to be 40 degrees or less. Uh, have I got that right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, and it wouldn't be dramatically different for UHD. That the uh, Really? Because the, the, pixels are, the pixels for a given screen size are smaller, much smaller. Quarter of Correct. The size. Well, but notice it says 40 degrees or less. What we're going after here is not um, is not the complete, oh my God, I'm lost in the picture thing. It's how much do I have to turn my head? Mm. This is more a, a comfort driven issue than anything else. Or how often do I have to move my eyes back and forth? Uh, you're, you know, it, it's also somewhat personal taste, somewhat personally dependent, but it's generally considered most comfortable if you can see the whole of the region of the screen without having to make a lot of excessive muscle movements. Mm. Uh, and yet, and yet, if you're, uh, we if we go, if we can go back to the previous uh, graphic, uh, the one called uh, seating distance, uh, we can see that your recommendations for for uh, UHD are uh, somewhat closer. Right, and this is based on the resolving power. That's uh, based on the resolving power. 
So yeah. when and the, the other aspect of UHD that I've heard many people say is that they they want it to be a more immersive experience, which is why they want you to sit closer. One reason to sit closer is you can resolve the pixels. Uh, you can see all the detail in the image of a UHD right. picture if you sit closer. Um, and also they want it to be more immersive. They want it to fill more of your field of view. And yet your point is very well taken uh, that when you do that, when you follow that particular recommendation of get up as close, get up to where the resolving power is maximized, then you're probably going to have to be moving your head to see the whole picture. And that's not comfortable. That's not cool. Right, right. I mean, I can't imagine watching a tennis match on a screen like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, uh, cer certainly that. But any movie, you know, right. if, if there's action going on in the sides of the of the image, um, then you'll have to be moving your, your head around.